So apparently Grok 3 is now free for all for a limited time and Elon Musk has invited us to melt their server for them. So I think why not? Let's give it a spin and see how well it does compared to all the other chat GPT like AI assistants. So if you want to access Grok 3, you can click on Grok over here and this will start the assistance. So the UI looks very, very similar to ChatGPT if you use it. As you can see here, I am under the beta version, which is currently free. I think after this free trial period, you will have to pay for it if you want to subscribe to X Premium, and that will give you more capability on this AI assistance. So what am I going to try? So I've always wanted to see if I can code up a trading strategy for this app I've been developing. So if you see here, I've developed this trading app, not really like trading app, but more like a trading assistance app where it shows you all the prices and things and uh, gives you really quick access right to everything. Um, so I'm going to try to see, I, I, I've been also training this wheel strategy for a long time now. There's a link in the description if you're not familiar with what the wheel strategy is. But I'm just gonna pretend that I don't know anything about the wheel strategy and I want to ask Grok to show me what that is and then maybe see if it can code up a solution for it. So I'm just gonna ask, um, give me a trading strategy revolve that revolves around the wheel strategy. So I'm just gonna do that with no context. And look, I really like the fade in effect as the assistant gives me an answer. And it looks like there's a lot of good info here based on what I'm reading. Uh, it tells you what the wheel strategy is, which is correct. And then it tells you the core components, which is also correct. And then step by step, for example, as an example, right, it's doing the spy option with something blue chip or stable, which is good tip. And then he was step by step. So this looks very good. I actually like the explanation, how it breaks up into different sections, risk management, example, walkthrough, and then pros and cons. So I, I you know, I can definitely see this as a, even an article on a website that shows you how it works. Um, Based on what I've read, it's trying to do um, out of money, a couple like 30 for 45 day out. Now, I, that's not actually not my strategy. My strategy is more of like weekly. So I want to modify this strategy based on a weekly uh, approach, weekly options approach. So again, I'm asking the question with, um, hoping that it knows the context that I'm talking about, right? I'm just saying modify this strategy. So what is this? This is the thing that I asked. So let me see if it understands. So it understands. So let's tweak the weekly uh, strategy based on the weekly cadence, which is exactly what I want. Um, so, you know, you got more cycles, 52 weeks in a year, faster data decay because time value evolves quickly. So th all this, it looks very good. And then it asked me to favor IVs in 2040, which, which is also great. I think this is um, a very solid, solid answer to that. And it, I, I, can, I think it's pretty close to what I'm doing. So um, I think this is uh, good. Let's ask it something further, right? So as coders, we'd like to know how can we automate this? Can you come up with Python code that implements this strategy. So this is, wow, that was quick. So it's able to grab the, create the Python code to simulate the strategy. And it knows to use Y Finance to grab the stock data. And then, uh, wow, okay, let's look at this code to see how good, I liked all these comments, first of all. So it's importing some libraries, some pandas, NumPy, daytime. Okay, so here's a, okay, so it's like if you want to replace a symbol, start symbol with something you want to trade, like Spy or Apple, uh, and then the start date, end date, 
so this is like a weekly cadence i think no i don't oh it's getting the data for the stock right like it's trying to get a historical data uh, initial cash amount contract size which is 100 for one contract um, delta you put in a delta which is the I, I will say if you don't not familiar delta is the probability of you making money on this trade so for this one it's 97 percent win so three percent will be the other side of the trade and then um, try to max position so 10 percent of portfolio so it's it's implementing risk mit mitigation in the strategy as well so yeah, it looks, at, it looks like it's grabbing fetch data for a particular simple with start date, end date. So it's grabbing the data for the stock. And then it's doing the wheel simulation here. It looks like it's getting based on the, so that's a contract. So if you don't have any shares in your account, you sell cash secure puts. Uh, if the put is assigned, then you hold it or you start the call, right? That's usually how it goes. So it says if the share is owned, then you sell cover calls, which is right. And check if the call is exercised. Oh, it's great. It has a built-in thing to check if the uh, if the option is exercised. Sometimes you don't get a good fill on it. And then break if cash runs out. So if you do lose on the strategy, it will not do anything. And then you will calculate the final portfolio value. Great, so it's doing some simulation for the simple. So based on historical data, it simulates uh, this trading strategy to see the returns. Uh, and then great, it has like a good explanation for this trade, uh, this simulation to see how it works. And then it tells you how to run the code. Um, and then here's a sample output, right? So you got a real strategy for Apple from this day to that day. And then here's a trading log, right? It, based on historical data, it will like put in a trade at some point and then tells you the results of it. So if it expire worthless, you gain $75. If you get assigned, you get a net cost for it and then you wield again and then your premium. So in total, uh, you over a one year time frame, you collect the $750 premium and you own zero shares in the end and therefore you gain 7% return. So I think this is a very good simulator and I think I'm actually gonna run it locally and try to use this as a base for to to try uh, to tweak my strategy. Um, so far, I think you know my return is extremely good, uh, but I think my risk level is a bit higher than this bot, this uh, this code here. So I'm gonna try to tweak it as close to my own as possible, and then maybe I'll run it in a, like a real time on the current stock and to see when it will place a trade. If it does, I'll simply simulate and copy the trade and see in the end if I have a good profit margin based on this. So I can see like Grok being very, very useful for um, additional stuff. So if you want to add real time data, option pricing models. So like if I just do that, right? So it's probably gonna, ah, huh, interesting. So it's asking for 15, so it's, actually, it's actually citing 15 web pages for the data, right? And I think this is like updating this with the real time code, which is awesome. It's probably something I need to test this out. So uh, all in all, I'm very impressed with Grok3 so far. And not only can you ask this type of question, which is very, very specific to a particular financial strategy, you can ask it pretty much anything in the world. And according to, to Musk, this is, you know, they're spending as much money and resources on this bot as ChatGPT is trying to catch up. And I really, so far I like it. I want to see, you know, this space to continue to expand the competition to go up and the real winners are the consumers. So let me know what you think if you ever try Grok3 and see how accurate it is compared to other chat assistants. I'll see you guys in the next video.